It's 1919. The war is over and the veterans have come home to high unemployment. The Bolshevik Revolution in Russia is arousing fear and suspicion in Canada. In Winnipeg, unemployment rates and working conditions are particularly bad. Mr. Meehan, can we get some questions? Mr. Minister of the Interior, can you comment on the Winnipeg General Strike? The leaders of the General Strike are revolutionists of varying degrees and types, from crazy idealists to ordinary thieves. On May 15th, the famous Winnipeg General Strike began when 30,000 workers walked off the job. By June 21st, a bus had been flipped over by the strikers, and Arthur Meegan, Minister of the Interior, called in reinforcements. In what became known as Bloody Saturday, the Northwest Mounted Police killed two people while suppressing the strikers. All the while, sympathy strikes were breaking out across the nation. Just over a month after it had begun, everyone returned back to work on June 25th, effectively ending the largest general strike in Canadian history.